we were wrong. And for that, I apologize. Regrets and apologies coming from the province's premier and chief medical officer of health as they admit the province is in crisis. They say Alberta is heading to a worse than worst case scenario where the health care system will have to choose which patients to treat if this trajectory continues. To fight the tide, a slew of new public health measures, including a vaccine passport. Starting Thursday, the province will have a mandatory work from home order unless the employer requires employees to be present. When it comes to private indoor gatherings, vaccinated Albertans can socialize with one other household to a maximum of 10 people. Unvaccinated Albertans cannot get together with anyone outside their household. Outdoor events won't have a limit, but two meters of distancing will be required. In schools, children in grades four and up must mask up, while elementary schools implement cohorts. Children's sports and recreation will continue with distancing protocols. Starting September 20th, additional restrictions will take hold. But there will be exemptions for places and programs that ensure their patrons have both COVID shots or a negative test. Otherwise, indoor dining, group recreation and indoor wedding or funeral receptions will not be allowed. And retail will also have to reduce to one-third capacity to ask Albertans yet again to step up to protect each other through activity restrictions after all we have been through is agonizing. And yet it is absolutely necessary. The Premier called it a crisis of the unvaccinated as he went back on his commitment to not bring in a vaccine passport. This is now the only responsible choice that we have. Our choices have never mattered more. The choice to be fully immunized saves lives. The choice to reduce close contacts saves lives. Health Minister Tyler Shandro said the penalties for violating the orders will be the same as they were previously during the pandemic. In Calgary, Stephanie Lasuk, City News.